Yes, sir. <laughs> no way. There we go. Many of you guys already know this one. Some of you guys don't. The first thing that I would go to when I have really high pain is the exit button. So right now, because I've switched regions, I just have it on recommended. What I used to do in Asia, because we didn't have a server, I would go to Tokyo, and then I would go Tokyo 04, and I put and then I put TCP routes four, and then I'd apply routes. Maybe I'd optimize it, something like that. Now, what I would recommend here is just experiment around with it. Go to the places that are closest to you. So if you're in North America, click somewhere that's close to you. Try it out. Experiment. Try different TCP routes. Try different UDP routes. Even try the ICMP routes. Just try, see what gives you the best ping. For me, I usually get the best ping when I have four on TCP routes, but it could differ for you. The next thing you wanna do is go into device manager, boop, and then go right into your internet. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go to advanced, and then you have a bunch of options of what to do. Now, I would at first go through all of the energy related topics and just click disable. So I would go through energy efficient. I would disable that. I would green ethernet. I would disable that. I don't know why that's just enabled. Let's go power saving mode disabled speed duplex on the last video that I did. I clicked a hundred megabytes full duplex, but in the update of the controller properties, they have put in auto negotiation so it will do the work for you so that's what you need to click moving on now i have msi afterburner here and what you see here is basically nothing happening but what you can do is if you do not care how much power you use and the electricity that you use i would use i would go power limit to max and then the temp limit to max as well i would leave the fan speed by itself because it will auto adjust and you don't want to like you want it to auto change with what the power limit and the temp limit is. Now, if you go to this profile over here in profile one that I have preset for myself, I have made a custom profile specifically for my CPU and what it can handle. Before you do anything, just know that this doesn't technically mess with your actual ping but it does decrease input delay and increase FPS, which does make the game feel a lot better. So if your network really doesn't allow it, then this might actually help. Now we'll go back to two just to see how it normally looks like. As I said, I would, I would max this out just because I do not mind the extra voltage. Now with the core clock and the memory clock, I would just go up just a little bit, just a little bit. I would add 10 each, each time you overclock, and then you would just click apply now i would then go into your game and see what it looks like and just play around just for a few seconds just to see if there's any glitching or anything like that and then i would move it up 10 again now with my overclocked settings if i go over like 230 on the core clock and the memory clock my game will start to glitch a little bit so i have just moved it down about 30 just to be safe now i'm just gonna apply the settings because that's what i like all right guys that's about it Make sure to let me know what you guys think. And if you guys like this at all or it helped you, make sure to leave a like on the video. It really helps. And I've been thinking about testing VPNs like I used to do. If you guys would like me to do that again, testing like 10 different VPNs in one video, make sure to let me know in the comments and I will see you boys in the next one. Peace.